Next, we're going to evaluate the medial side of the elbow, the area of the common flexor tendon, where we commonly will see golfer's elbow. I'm going to place the probe so that the proximal end, the notch side, the left side, is over the medial epicondyle. I'm going to align that with the flexor tendon, which is right here. Now, the flexor tendon of the elbow is very short, so we'll see that this is tendinous here, and then the muscles of the flexor muscles of the forearm are here. Deep to that, we can actually see the joint line, and flowing over that is the ulnar collateral ligament. Next, we're going to look at the posterior aspect of the elbow. Although there are many things that we could look at, we're just going to today look at a couple of very important areas. Let's look at the insertion of the triceps tendon into the olecranon. To do that, we'll place notch of the probe towards the head, and we'll place the distal end of the probe directly over the olecranon. Screen right represents the olecranon. Above that, we can see the triceps tendon here triceps muscles beginning here. This area represents the olecranon fossa, and the bright area within it is the posterior fat pad. Effusions within the elbow will cause that fat pad to be displaced posteriorly. From the longitudinal position, we'll rotate the probe 90 degrees and look at the posterior elbow transversely. Here we can see the posterior fat pad again, which can be displaced by joint effusion. While viewing the posterior elbow in transverse, we can move the probe slightly medially and align the probe between the olecranon process and the medial epicondyle. Now, for visualization purposes, I'm going to put the notch, in this case, to the inferior aspect on the olecranon so that on the screen, the olecranon will be to the screen left and the medial epicondyle will be to the screen right. This dark structure and through here, close to the medial epicondyle, is the ulnar nerve viewed in transverse. A dynamic study can be done where we take the arm from being extended to being flexed, and we'll watch that ulnar nerve to see if it subluxates over the top of the medial epicondyle. We want to be careful not to use too much pressure when we're doing this with the probe because that can prevent the nerve from moving. And in this case, the nerve remains in the proper position.